Secret Menu Podcast with your hosts, Diego Red and Money Boss. Brought to you by Rebel TV, the Rebel Entity. Live from the West Side and worldwide. Worldwide. Real ones know what's up. And if you don't, you get the point. Tap in. Tap in. It's the Secret Menu Podcast. Money boss. What's happening? What it do for you? Just like that, we back. It is hump day. Secret Media Podcast. You ain't done about it. Top one of Monique is in the house. What it do, cuz of Royce Sears in the house. El Rieta Fontaine is in the house. Uh, I almost sent them a request. Let me stall that out. Uh, Dirty Hussein is in the building. Ray Shasiris is in the building. Janae Glaude is in the house. Kimberly Williams is watching. Shout out to everybody that's pulling up and tapping in. You know what I'm saying? What they do, friends? It's hump day just like that. We back Super Media Podcast. Middle of the week. We halfway through it. You know what I'm talking about it? Boss, man, how's the week going for you so far? Ah, uh, it's going, it's going. Um, uh, before we even start, my partner Charlene passed away today. Damn. I wanted to say rest in peace to you, buddy. Rest in peace. Funny, you know. Um, but other than that, bro, I've been good. Gym, working out, eating mm. right. That's it. That's all it is for me. To That's what it do. Same Be healthy. You know what I'm saying? Karen Seward in the house. C. Scotty in the building. Sophia Garza's in the house. Ray Shamu Spasta's in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. We back. You know what I'm saying? Secret Menu Podcast. We gonna get right into it. You know what I'm saying? But before we do that, we can't forget about two of the more important niggas that's in <laughs> Ah, damn, I just almost forgot about it. <laughs> Diego Red is in the building. Money Boss is definitely in his own building. And after this show, I'm going to see your mama. <laughs> but I'm not going to see your mama alone. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not going to see your mama alone because I got her a toy. You it's got her a toy? Yeah, it's called the cat. Okay, uh, boss is fucking with the toys. Okay, you know, boss be anti toys and shit. But I mean, you know, you, you got her one though. Got her. You allowing her to bring that motherfucker in there and do something with it, okay? Nah, I'm just throwing it to her so when she ain't here. <laughs> Oh, it's for when you're not there. Yeah, think of me. Oh, I'm not there. 
We won't get too deep in that, but if y'all want to hear more about that, tap in Friday night for the Sneaky Link. YouTube only, Friday night to 9 p.m. We get a little crazy on the adult content on that side, you know what I'm saying? We get a little crazy. I'll make sure y'all here for that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got to start right back where we started. Monday, boss. It's been crazy. Puff got the whole internet <laughs> fucked up. Fans are starting to believe that he's always, he predicted it would all end this way. He foresaw this coming, and this is why they believe this. You got some visitors, dog. Let's get up on that. My brother always, always tells me, though, you got to be careful what you speak. You got to be careful of some of the shit that you do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people right. felt like Pac always talked about death, talked about death. I always, I'm like, shit, you got to die <laughs> at some fucking point. But a lot of people feel like he saw it either coming or he brought it on him. But what are the chances Puff had a video where he was fleeing from the feds in a private jet? That's crazy. <laughs> That is crazy. Lauren Jackson in the house. Lashina's in the building. That is crazy, though. But if you don't know, if you've been stuck under a rock somewhere, they raided Puffy's uh, house yesterday, the L.A. mansion. I believe they went to some shit in uh, Miami as well. Miami. Star Island, yeah. We were lucky enough to scramble through the internet and find some footage inside of the house. We ain't got to mute because there ain't really no audio on this. We can talk over this. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, they told this motherfucker up. We get to see what a nigga living like, though. <laughs> they wanted to, and this, you seen all the kids was here, so I, I take it this is the crib. It was in his daughter's name. Out. Yeah, so this is the crib where the kids go to school from. Most, look, see bears and shit. I hope that wasn't his bear. <laughs> <laughs> kids, big safe, though. They cracked that thing. Somebody no, that's probably, that probably was already open. You think so? You know, you, you know one of the ones that you just kind of keep open just in case you got to get in it, or they, or one of the kids, and have to open that motherfucker. Mm. Open you know, they the feds though. They got a safe cracking nigga on the team. That's all he do is crack the safes. They said they took a lot of electronics. They made sp specific mention of a uh, Samsung, I think. Razor, some type of Samsung something phone. I forget. I want to say Razor. They made specific mention of this certain phone for some strange reason in the news reports I was watching earlier. Out of all the electronics and shit this nigga could possibly own, they mentioned that phone. Um, nothing too telling. Here go a closet. This is probably Justin's King Combs closet. I mean, I see some suit jackets. But I seen the Chucks, the little Chucks with the heart eyes mm -hmm. on. I don't think Puff wearing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they Maybe look he like, may. He that's, might. That's Brother Love. <laughs> brother Love. He living like a regular, you know what I'm saying? Ain't human. I don't know what I be thinking inside of this nigga house would look like. But I think this is the girls' room. Or one of the girls' rooms. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too major. Just shows you how they ramsack your shit when they when they come get you. They ramsack your shit. Let's look. A lot of people are saying um the twin girls are seniors in high school this year. So where they at? Let me find them. I had them somewhere. Oh, somebody made a post with the daughters on there. I don't know where they went. Oh, here they go. The twins' entire memory of their senior year 
it's just gonna be all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it come with it. It come with it. I know who your daddy Not, is. Yeah, know who your daddy is. But even when you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers be in the streets and shit like this tragically happens, or just others, it come with it. The sac- it's all good when the sacrifices are made to make all this money. Now I'm not talking about the freaky <laughs> shit he got going on, but the sacrifices he made to be a rich mogul, and then to turn around and have to go up against. This huge liquor company, which me and boss believe is what all this shit is behind. This is the shit that comes with it. It's all good when a motherfucker's buying Rolls Royces and shit for prom. And I don't think his kids' lives are ruined, at least not just yet. This is definitely traumatic for them because they don't come from police raids and handcuffs and shit. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be some shit that come with it. They have to go everywhere with a bodyguard or some, you know. So they kind of already live under a different thing than the average person. So people that are saying, oh, they already live in a different world. They already understand that they have a different father than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? But it's other shit, boss, that has come to light. Um, we saw, We saw Puff at the airport. When everybody believed that plane had left the West Coast, we found out that he actually was in Miami. The plane was just moving around to kind of throw motherfuckers off or allegedly throw motherfuckers off. They right. they they ran into him at the uh, Opalaka Airport. Mm-hmm. Opalaka Airport. And we saw him. Let me find that video because we did have that video yesterday. And I made sure I kept it. Motherfuckers He's was... Pacing. Yeah, he was pacing. Somebody <laughs> hiding in the bushes. Where this nigga go? Yeah, I'm I couldn't line it all up. Cause I, there's something, there's something uh, that ties into that video of him pacing. That's why I'm trying to find it. Uh, did I delete it? Nope. Okay, maybe I'll find it later. I don't know. I can't find that picture. Because it was from yesterday, so maybe I did delete it. But um, I got a picture, though. I got a picture of it. Remember we said that the police did apprehend him or stop him because you're not apprehended. You yeah. right. They stopped him, they talked to him, and they released him. But if you look at the picture, that's mm-hmm. Diddy right there in the blue sweats. Mm-hmm. There's Paul. <laughs> Motherfuckers are asking, nigga, who is Paul? What the fuck? There's Paul. There's Paul. Paul's the white guy right there. Mm-hmm. So new information has leaked that that guy was arrested. And he's allegedly mm-hmm. Diddy's drug mule, former Syracuse basketball player by the name of Paul. Brendan Paul. I thought the nigga... <laughs> the guy's a... a, a oh, we had Chris Paul. Brendan Paul is his name, former Syracuse basketball player. This is a mugshot from yesterday. He's the alleged drug mule. I guess he has a prior case, they said, for some drug smuggling type shit. And they said he was taking drugs to Puffy somewhere then. But that brought up something crazier. We saw that yesterday. Like, after the show, we started seeing the drug guy gets caught. But then that brings up these documents. And there's DJ Academics. He fucking hates Young Miami. Young Miami is one of Puffy's last ladies. So they pull up these documents, and in these documents, this guy is alleging that young Miami is accused of transporting pink cocaine for Diddy. Uh, hey. <laughs> the nigga even like his drugs gay. Pink cocaine. You're stupid. <laughs> You're like his drugs they gay. call it Tusi. <laughs> That's what it would look like in comparison to a regular bag of cocaine. <laughs> Pink coke. That's co- these motherfuckers, this new shit, I'm old. He older than us. This nigga's, this nigga's older than us. Pink cocaine. You know what I'm saying? The internet was telling young Miami and shit yesterday. 
Like, where are you at? But it, it gets deeper because when you read the documents, boss, mm -hmm. 50 Cent's baby mama, Daphne Joy, the Asian girl, she's named mm -hmm. Jade Ramney. Mm -hmm. Jade Ramey, she's named. Young Miami is named. So if you look at what it says right here, it's saying that he had them on salary as sex workers. Mm. They would also be responsible for ensuring payment to workers in cash. Young Miami, Jay, Daphne were paid a monthly fee to work for Mr. Combs, sex workers and receive payment via wire transfer from Robin Greenhill, which outlined defendants criminal. Op so these are documents from one of these people who got these, these cases against him. So they saying that, so you was, know, he was a pimp. He was pimping. Pimping for the sex parties. Yeah, he's pimping. The freak offs. If, if he, yeah, if if they saying if they saying he was sex trafficking these women, uh. he was that they was working for him. He was taking them all over these places to do whatever they needed to do with the people right. he was around. But and and that's what they're saying. But this is what the problem. Is. They gotta go tell. You can say this, but you got to prove it. And in the proving it is gonna be the hard part because you gotta get one of them to say, yeah, he made me sick. Right, because you're an adult. Young Miami you're already adult. has money. Daphne already mm -hmm. got some money. She's 50's baby mama and a model. Mm -hmm. So really right. you work for hire as an adult. <laughs> right. Sex industry worker type shit. Right. I don't think that they could pin that on him unless they hit them. Now, if they get this, if, if there's some drug shit with the pink cocaine on the young Miami, she could fold and tell. Paul definitely looked like he telling no boss. Not if he, not if, what are you going to tell? That he was supplying Diddy with cocaine? He was traveling state, I mean, country lines, state lines and shit with drugs for Diddy. And he could also, but then, no, you know, no, no, then no, no, they no. start to tell other shit that they know of. See what I'm saying? Because he doesn't necessarily have that. to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, get me, oh, we're going to give you this for the drugs. Okay, well, I can tell you. Because remember I said when they went to the house, somebody mm -hmm. kind of told, must have told them what they were going to look for. It might have not been Paul, because Paul was right there with Diddy when they, when they raided. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, um. It could be Carisha. It could. The Asian girl already had went on an anti Diddy campaign. Remember, saying he kicked her when she was pregnant and all this other. So it could be Daphne. It could be somebody telling these things that's leading up to this shit. I don't know. It's getting creepy. Did you get what I sent you about the Clyde Davis and Jimmy Iovine shit? Yeah. I think I did. I've seen, I got like six of them things. So what they saying is I, I got, I got one of those. So this is, this is a clip of it ain't a video though. But what, what this is, is somebody saying people, the raids today were not for Diddy. It was to destroy incriminating stuff on powerful people. That kind of sums up all the other shit. They're saying that they weren't raiding for him and his actions. They were raiding to get right. rid of any information that would get Clive Davis, Jimmy Iovine. There's another big name, Lucian Grand, that you always hear Kanye saying, yeah. Lucian, Lucian, Lucian. Lucian was mentioned in one of them videos. They're saying that, mm -hmm. nigga, this ain't even about Diddy. It's to get in there, get shit, because when they come at him for his little sex parties and shit, that none of this mm -hmm. other shit on Lior and all these other motherfuckers is in yeah. his houses. It's 9-11. Blow that shit up, right. get that shit out of there so that this shit ain't in there. So that it's and, and, literally like fake it's the feds, but it's really like a special team of niggas who finna come erase and that's that why, shit. No. And, and and it makes sense. The more you look at it, it makes a lot of sense. Because if they was when the feds come, bro, the feds come to get you. Right. You're going down there. Right. 
They're taking you somewhere to go push. They're not pushing you at the airport and letting you First go. nigga they ever were, stopped by the feds not taken. Fed and, and not taken, bro. So mm. I said that's what I sat back. I sat back, I said, nah, this is something different. Something different. So I kept different. going down the rabbit hole. You know me. I'm going to keep going down the rabbit hole like, oh, what the fuck? That didn't make sense. Because when the feds got, uh, when, when we got it, and yeah. nigga, we went down there for thirteen hours. Right. Nigga, you weren't coming back out of that motherfucker if you had something to do with this shit. Right. <laughs> Your ass is down there. Right. But I'm looking at this and like, no, oh, this is weird. Because why would why would homeland security That's what fucked me up. Homeland security. Sex, I understand the sex trafficking shit that y'all trying to make this seem like mm-hmm. but I don't get the sex trafficking shit because sex trafficking means he takes these girls to go work some, and forces them to go work. You know what I mean? They, they He forces them to go work. That's sex trafficking. They have sex with people. That's what you're doing. So I'm, I'm looking at it and saying, no, nah, this ain't making sense, bro. It don't make no fucking sense. And then when I go down a rabbit hole, I say, oh, shit. The Clyde Davis shit come up with Diddy was supposed to sign a contract with Clyde and Diddy didn't want to sign the contract. Mm. Well, you go into this some more. The contract was from uh, Jimmy Iveen because, I mean, uh, Jimmy Iveen because Diddy and Jimmy Iveen got into it. Mm. So Jimmy Iveen went to Clyde Davis. Clyde's like, I got it. I know how to deal with this situation and get him, you know what I mean? Right. And made him try to sign this contract, and Diddy told him no. So when Diddy told Clyde, who is Clyde, and Diddy was butt buddy. Yes, sort of. Yeah, Yeah, I've I've heard that story for sure. I've heard that story. Yeah, Clyde was, Clyde is the one who turned Diddy into the monster animal mm. he eats. Because this was what Clyde was doing when he was doing his thing back in the day with, mm. with uh Whitney Houston with all the and everybody Whitney before Houston that. And, and everybody yeah. Whitney Houston and mm-hmm. all of them. And so he taught Diddy how to do this and taught people how to make people expendable. Get rid you can get rid of these motherfuckers. Too. Camille Gatsby That's says, like what that. if they rated to take the evidence and let the nigga hang. I mean, it's pretty much what it is, but no, get them okay, out the way and leave him to his little shit. Because the thing is, you are a part of this, but you got messy, nigga. You got right. you got to take you got to take this fall, but get this shit you out of here so everybody hang. else don't go. Right. We, we got to let you hang because they can't reach in and save him because then y'all start looking. Yeah, weird. you know what I'm saying. Right. So it it, it is how, that, but it's you got messy though. It's like when yeah. when you when you got a click of niggas and y'all all getting money and it's like okay bro we robbed a bank, lay low for about I, six months I, and then this nigga money, yeah. yeah this nigga buys a Bentley <laughs> and a fur jacket. <laughs> Police like, okay this nigga had to rob the bank. Who does he hang with? These three niggas. They had to be the other niggas on video. So that's kind of how it worked. Get all our shit out of that nigga house, and then he going to have to fall for the sex shit. Possibly. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's going to be interesting. Yeah. We're going to keep y'all updated. As always, a lot of people come out of the woodwork. There's a guy, he's pretty famous, uh, a journalist named Torre. You'll see him on TV, a lot light-skinned guy with his hair that you can't not recognize once you see him. He tells a story about a cousin, nephew, or something of his working for Diddy. All of a sudden, when this shit's going on, let's take a look. I was personally disturbed many years ago, okay? I, I, I know this man well enough to call him and say, hey, I need a favor. Yeah. And this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And I And he said, yes. And they were flying around, one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet, in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. And I'm like, what? What do you, why did it end? He wouldn't say. 
And years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. Uh, and the internship ended. Uh, but from there, I was like, oh, like, this is, this is how it goes. What? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I was person. Doesn't sound too far-fetched. You know what I'm saying? Just based on some of the shit around. But this is a nigga that you just, in one instance, you're like, this is my friend. He's friend enough for me. I can call him. And say, hey, bro, I need a favor. Then you tell, I called him and needed a favor. I got to get my cousin, my nephew, whoever this is out the street. Hire him as an intern. Right. I do get the disrespect of a motherfucker coming on with an advance to your nephew, cousin, whoever that was. But nobody was harmed in that, right? If this is supposed to be your friend that you can call for a favor, this really shouldn't be the time that you throw him under the bus like this. If he was really a friend that you could call for a favor like that. He was a friend that you could call for a favor, but you were not a friend that he could call for a favor. <laughs> is what that is. Be weary of motherfuckers like that. A lot of motherfuckers think you got a friend. No, you're the friend that they can call for a favor. You're not. They're not your friend to where they give you the same shit. Because, yeah. It's kind of fucked up. But Puff does have one friend in all of this. If he doesn't have any goddamn friends... Uh, any guesses in the comments? Any guesses of who is one friend? Well, he got a couple friends, but any guesses of who this one friend I'm about to bring up is? In the comments, any guesses of who the one friend might be I'm about to bring up? T.D. Jakes. <laughs> T.D. Jakes is getting so far away from this nigga right now. <laughs> it's not Russell Simmons. Although a lot of people said this was Puff last night on FaceTime with Russ asking him, did he have his room ready? <laughs> that was not true. But the one friend that jumped out, jumped out on the front line, well, there's two friends, but the first one that jumped out on the front lines yesterday was Tyrese. <laughs> well, shout out Tyrese. Tyrese, though. He's here. He offers his support to Diddy, says he's praying for the victims, but he ain't about to downplay the impact that Diddy had on the culture. What I can't do is turn blind eyes on how much he means to me and to all of us. I love this brother. Nigga, you might be involved in page 12 of this document. We're going to find out. Let me grab my mic so I can go in and read my eyes back. He said what I can't do is... And won't do is downplay the laughter, the fun, the energy, the inspiration, the award shows, the studio sessions, the most legendary parties. Nigga, leave the parties out of your shit. The parties is what got this nigga in trouble. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The legendary parties and events I've ever attended in my life. I also can't act as if my high school backyard parties throughout South Central wasn't the craziest parties ever because of the bad boy on slew of hit records. I don't condone nor do I support abuse, bullying, sexual assault or anything that is currently being alleged. But what I won't do is turn blind eyes on how much he meant to me and all of us. And I won't read the rest of that shit. But I mean, that's a true friend. You know what I'm saying? He's taking a big risk. He's taking a big risk by doing that, and that's a true friend. If this nigga turns out to be the, the mega monster he is, though, I mean mega monster he's allegedly being portrayed to be, that's a bad look for Tyrese, but this is the solidarity that Torrey didn't show him, boss. How you feel about Tyrese jumping out there in the street? Go cry in the corner because then nobody jump out in the street for me. Don't put yourself and tie yourself, my brother, in some shit that's bigger than you. Yeah, you want to support him. Yeah, you want to be whatever you want to be. But I'm quite sure you got his number. Text him, email him, but don't jump out on the motherfucking ledge, buddy, because it, it's over for your buddy. It is y -E -E got you looking, Got you looking a little involved. <laughs> yeah, you naming them parties and shit, nigga. You were the most oh, legendary bro. parties. <laughs> nigga, the parties is what... Nigga, the parties is what started all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, he has another friend who's been there since day one. 
a bad boy Lil records. Kim. No, Lil Kim is staying the fuck. Away. <laughs> she already been mad though. She stayed the fuck away from him too. He got another friend who's been there since day one. Did a lot of production with the Hitmen. These niggas was called the Hitmen. That shit sound crazy now. <laughs> the Hitmen. Stevie J. Stevie J went live. He sat in his studio playing gospel music, saying, you know what I'm saying? He's praying for his boy. Let's take a look. This is day one nigga right there though. He he been mashing since the first allegation. <laughs> nigga, you might be tied up in this shit so much. Cause he been mashing since the first allegation. All that gospel shit. Ain't gonna help nothing. <laughs> ain't gonna help nothing. You gonna need a whole lot of that. I don't know, bro. I don't know. This shit is getting extra, extra, extra. And 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 what's happening though? 2024 started off with the tell-off, right? Uh -huh, yeah. So we rolled to the tell-off. Cat fucking we Williams. To the, Cat Williams started it. Mm -hmm. And Cat Williams rolled it. Then you got all this other shit going on. Now you got this big shit. It ain't gonna stop, bro. It ain't gonna stop. So, you know when you was a kid? I was a kid. Not, I don't know if you made it to kid. As a kid, I used to always ask my mom. Y'all always sitting here talking about you waiting on the Lord when the Lord comes, right? I right. always say you was a cold I, nigga. My mama would <laughs> get your little ass out of here. You never no, say no, nothing no, about no. Jesus. <laughs> no, I used to say this to her because I used to say, "Well, well, your your mama waited on her too, mm. and he didn't come when your mama was waiting, and he didn't come." He ain't gonna come while you wasn't either. So why do y'all believe he gonna come? Right? That's what I used to say to my mom. Until I got to understanding, it wasn't about him coming for them. It was about having faith in something. And these niggas is fake faith in it right now. You, know Wait, you think the faith is oh, fake? <laughs> but did he not come? <laughs> Or are you talking about the whole rapture, the end of all come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like all that they shit, fake. bro. Yeah, I, but you know, motherfuckers hoping they stories don't get told neither. Shit, in that motherfucker. Yeah, well, hey, Them studio speakers hey, ain't never heard a gospel song in that motherfucker. <laughs> speakers hey. like, what is this? What's done in the dark will come to light, man. Stevie J and that motherfucker. Hey, and, and our boy Flawless is over here on YouTube. Hey, yes. Jack. Yes. Flawless. Yes. Let's coach Dream Team. Just big old capo. Just purchase that big old capo. Did he do it? That big old capo okay. membership. Yeah, membership for six months. Oh, you know. You know what that means. For six months. You know what that means. For six months. You know what that means. Flawless of the West Coast Dream Team and Quality Kicks. Y'all tap in if you need them exclusive Jordans and hard to find shoes. But he just came through with the six month. Capo. Capo status. Capo status. So you know what that means. You know what that means. Donations rule the nation. It's about that motherfucking so time. We appreciate the love. <laughs> you feel me. Quality kicks. With that big, big, big.
tapo status tap. You know what I'm talking about it. All right, boss. Outside of the raid, motherfuckers pulled up. A lot of people just pulled up to go see if they could see Diddy come out in handcuffs. You know, all the TMZ people were there. They caught this young nigga. They ain't a Bentley, though. And he had some things to say about living next door to Diddy. Let's take a look. Said if my ball go over the gate, I don't even. <laughs> that nigga said, "Tell him stop bringing all the miners over here." <laughs> that nigga is out of pocket. <laughs> oh my god! I got. I do have. I do have semi good news about that though. It was later reported that this young man's mother <laughs> reported he's trolling. His mother said none of that's true. He was trolling. This nigga's crazy. <laughs> this nigga's I'm his dude. neighbor. All right, there was another young lady. She, you might know her from Extra, Extra. <laughs> she was a background dancer once upon a time, too. She want to tell her truth. Or she doesn't. Uh, here she wants to, but she doesn't. Let's take a look. You know, we all have stories. Seriously, we all have stories. Mine is horrific and only five people know it. And I probably will never tell it. But it's, since then I've been like, yep. And I also am very intimately aware that you tell your truth and you become victimized over and over and over and over and over and over. And mind you, I then interviewed him many times. <laughs> There's, I have a lot of stories, y'all. I've been in Hollywood for 25 years, maybe longer, 30. I got a lot of stories. Unfortunately, um, maybe I'll write a book one day, but it just is so traumatizing that women just wanna live every day and feel safe. And when we revisit and revisit, we live in a state of victimhood and nobody wants to live there. So for those of you who are like, why didn't you say something then? Because we just wanna live, we wanna be happy, and we really wanna forget the trauma, so. There's that. Nigga, what did you talk about? I hate cornball shit. <laughs> I hate fucking cornball shit, bro. Don't condone nothing that is alleged against this man, but bitch, what are you saying? Oh, I got a doozy. I got a story too. And then what fucks me up, boss, is she says. It's so traumatic, I can't speak about it. I don't want to speak about it, but you're speaking about it. Then on top of that, you said, because we know you was on Extra. I've interviewed him many times. So this shit was so tragic, so horrific, so traumatizing, but you still could sit well, across from him, smile, because you smile every time you, every time I saw you, you showing your motherfucking teeth on, on Extra. You're smiling and interview him many, many times. I've interviewed him many times. So you can look at a motherfucker who allegedly the R word you, and interview this nigga over and over again every time you see him be at all these places and never say nothing until this nigga's on the run. That's crazy. <laughs> Bitch, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck you. Anybody that's been really harmed or really, you know what I'm saying? Because it's motherfuckers who really didn't been through some shit. You a mockery to that, though. Because she going to say, I refuse to talk about it, but yet you're talking about it. Right. Like, Cause it brings back you, we, you, people ask why you didn't why you didn't say nothing because in the in the beginning you say because you don't want to bring up the past but yet you bringing up the past right now just trying to get in <laughs> you just want to be Which extra was canceled I don't even know if extra was canceled is extra still on TV extra 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 no. No, they took her off because she was being extra. Because that's what she was right now, extra. Extra. One more motherfucker got something to say. We finna get off this puppy shit, but before we do, 
Let me make sure I got everything. Just about everything. If I, if I happen to miss some shit, we'll catch it later. But there's one more motherfucker that had some words for Puff. Once all this shit went down, big dog, Donald Trump. Let's take a look. Puffy, Puffy, you stupid ass nigga. I told you, stop fucking with R. Kelly. I said, grab them in the pussy. Don't kidnap the pussy. They raided your shit, I see. I got a courtesy call when they raided my house. You really fucked up, up my nigga. Can I get a copy of the Meek Mill sex tape? Please, nigga. Puffy, 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 you stupid ass nigga. I told you, stop fucking with R. Kelly. I said, grab them in the pussy. Don't <laughs> AI is AI is crazy. AI is crazy. Because if they had a little more time to hone that a little more, that motherfucker would have been on. Because it was on. Yeah, AI is crazy. Puffy, Puffy. Puffy, puffy. You stupid nigga. Stupid nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna keep y'all updated. You know what I'm saying? With, uh, where's Diddy? Nobody knows where he is right now at this moment. They said the jet flew back into Teterboro. I guess that's New York somewhere. They believe he went and met with his lawyers and then it flew off again. So we don't know where that East Coast jet is. I think he's that out That motherfucker here. ain't fit to land. That, that motherfucker ain't gonna land nowhere. Stay he he finna have a high gas gonna, bill. What? A high gas bill. You know what I'm saying? I see boss is rocking his Let's Do It shirt. Let's Do It shirts is out right now. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with the boss, man. And get you a motherfucking Let's Do It shirt. You feel me? Get you a motherfucking Let's Do It shirt. Let's keep it moving on. Let's keep it moving on and see what else is going on in the world. Oh, oh last but not. They said they... Oh, I could... I, I got a couple more points. Rema uh, miraculously yesterday, Puffy sold Revolt. He no longer owns Revolt. I, I couldn't forget that. He no longer owns Revolt. An anonymous buyer bought it yesterday. All his shares. An anonymous buyer. That's crazy. I don't, I don't watch even speak that. I, I don't even speak that. that. What do you I think? think? He gave that shit. This is what he Put it, he he bought it in one of his ghost Put, corps. Yo, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Because he got to keep generating revenue, bro. Right. He ain't stupid. And Clyde them taught him the game. Right. He knows how to work. Revolt kind of been too. a sinking ship. This kind of put a bigger stain on. I'm the only nigga I know that be watching Revolt. Revolt okay. is pretty but good. That's some what good I'm saying. That he gonna put a new face on it and be like, "Hey, this is who got it now." They gonna regenerate. They ain't got nothing to do with him, and right. he the one still on the shit. That's what they do, man. The internet be internet too. I can't forget this one. They said they found Meat Mill in the house. <laughs> Me, if I was me, they right? whooping his ass right now. If I was me, I I I stay out of everybody's mentions. I I just stay away from everybody for a minute. You know what I mean? Right. Because he's catching these strays, bro, and these strays is gonna run you crazy. He catching And I can tell what type of nigga you are. You are a brother that's going to be. You want to defend yourself at all costs. And right now ain't the time to defend yourself about shit. Did this play? shit the other all night? over. I don't think I played. The other night he was just riding nigga through the ghetto in Philly. Looking for ops. They said he was Meek out. Meek about to crash out. He ride, nigga. He riding around talking shit. Yeah, you niggas ain't outside. He riding. I said, yeah, this nigga true. Yeah, see. They gonna push him over they, the, the edge. internet. Yeah, they're gonna push him right over the edge. They're gonna kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> he just needs to go and get somewhere, take some money, get somewhere, go sit somewhere where nobody know you at, bro. Take you and a, a few people and just chill, man, and get back to living and fuck this shit. Fuck yeah. everything that's going on. Fuck everything that's being said. Let motherfuckers speak because they got a mouth to do it, brother. Don't let these people get you to crash out or, or burn in, in, in this shit, man. Just go ahead and, 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 and go find you one of them places that you like to go and go sit over that motherfucker for a few months. He act like he got ADHD and he ain't gonna listen to you though. Cause he wanted the motherfuckers to just 
he can't. He gotta. You know what I'm saying? I love pussy. I love pussy so much. Pussy so good. I love pussy. I even fuck pussy on a period. I like nigga, shut up. That doesn't make you look like you love pussy. That make it look like you're trying to cover some shit up. Like, chill out. All right, I said last one, but I promise this is the last one. I promise. I couldn't let this one go because Boss said her name earlier. (laughs) Boss said her name earlier, and the internet says... (laughs) The 90s had us all believing Little Kim was the biggest freak whole time. It was Diddy. <laughs> whole time he was the freakiest motherfucker in the industry. We thought Kim was nasty. All right, we're going to keep y'all updated what? with this Diddy shit. What'd you say? Well, that's, that's coming from his mentors, man. They did a whole, I, 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 I don't know if I send it to you. They did a whole skit, like a clip skit thing. Uh-huh. All the way from Quincy Jones hugging on Michael Jackson when he was a little boy, talking shit with Michael Jackson, talking like, "Yeah, we spent all night together." Mm. Then they did it with Clive, Clive and um and and and, and um, Whitney Houston, and then turned around and did it with what's what's the other? It was another boy, and then did it with Diddy, and he talked about his little man. That shit crazy. He adopted bro. some little white girl on a clip I seen. Yeah, and you got oh, Jimmy. Diddy, yeah, when he did it, then you got Dre. Yeah. You got a lot of these niggas, man. But, bro, but if you take this, and this is what I'm trying to tell everybody. You got to really pay attention to this shit. I was breaking shit down to people. How Dr. Dre got away from death row. Mm -hmm. When he got away from death row, he didn't have nothing. He had nothing. He had him, and they did after me. Jimmy, Mm -hmm. I being like, nigga, we don't do after. We go, I'm gonna give you aftermath. You do what you and he did that ballroom when Drake came out and did that. What was that song mm-hmm. he did with me? I've been there. I've done that. I've been there. You That's got that. guns. Yeah. I got straps. I got straps. <laughs> that shit didn't do nothing. Not a shit. Had to bring your that ass back to gangster. Did. Come back to gangster world, nigga. That shit didn't do nothing, nothing. right? So Jimmy put Eminem in his hand. Mm-hmm. Right? Hey, we got this white kid. Change the whole direction. direction. It changed his whole direction. Here you go, Dre. Boom. Dre gets that. That shit go to pop and him do 10 million. Aftermath is on the block. Oh. Him knows about 50 already. Mm -hmm. Hottest mixtapes in the street. 50 was on fire. We got we got to get this nigga. Dre don't want to. Mm-hmm. Him like, well, fuck it. Let me do it under me, under you. Mm-hmm. Cool, do it. Because he was scared. This I nigga been shot. I just got away yeah. from all this gangster shit. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't want, want 50. He didn't want 50. Boom. Say that shit to him. Boom, 50 come in. Boom, move Dre up. I mean, this is what I'm talking about, because I'm going to tell you what. If these stories get out, motherfuckers gonna be shocked of all your favorite rappers, rapper, rapper has been fondled with. God damn. How these motherfuckers in the, uh, hey. in the high up, they've been fondled with, guys. 50 bet see not. It. See, 50 better not have been fondling because he's going, have you seen him? He's going crazy on crazy. Puffy. He going but, crazy. But I'm, I'm so, not, nigga, if you got any of this and that shit come out, you going to look crazy because you going in right. on Puffy. So, so I'm just saying, this is what they do. They groom these niggas like mm-hmm. Dr. Dre is was groomed. I'm going to give you this. He was groomed. But you're going to give me I'll that. I'll give you this. You're going to give me that. <laughs> you're going to give me hey, that. Hey, nobody understand. Nobody understand it when they did it with Jay-Z. Nobody even want to hey, hear Hey, man, it. leave hope out nobody. of this. <laughs> Nobody want to hear it. Don't leave Hove out of this. Who did it with Jack? Did it with Jack. When they when they sold Rockefeller, ain't nobody been fondling Hove. I ain't saying they fondled him. I'm saying he cut his deal, whatever his deal was, and how he cut it. Get rid of Dame and Big. We'll give you this Rockefeller shit back. Boom. Look at what just happened with um with Dame. They just made Dame say the last. He said, Here's a little Rockefeller shit. Like, nope. Jay stopped it though. Jay did that for him. I know, him. I heard. Shout out Ho. Before, no, 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 no. I know he did. I, that's what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. I know he did. 
I know because I, I read up like Hov was like, nah, nigga, you ain't got to tell that shit, man. And that was big but of him because he could have just let him do it. That was big of Hov because he could have let him die, mm-hmm. right? But that's what this is. And what I'm saying is, fun. you can have this, this Rockefeller shit back and go on about your business. No, you don't go about your business. We're going to give you this Rock Nation shit, too. Mm-hmm. Put you in play. Puffy, you ain't really got nothing going on. It's when uh, Clyde gets Puffy. You, we know you're an intern. You're doing all this shit you're doing. Boom. Let me get this bad boy shit off the ground for you. He always had this motherfucker. He had IV to back him to do anything. That's why bad boy blew up so fast. Because he had motherfucking Davis, Clyde Davis, as his motherfucking money back. And who was Clyde Davis at the time? The biggest record exec in the business. So that's what they do, man. Real G. Ashley says, do you think the broom scene from In Too Deep was based on a true story? I definitely believe niggas heard some shit in the street about niggas and used that and spent that into that movie. And what's crazy is Mm -hmm. Friday, if you've seen the movie Friday, after all these years, they say the character Debo was Big U. Mm Mm-hmm. Was based on Big U. Never knew that. So I think even on the East Coast, they got their folklore and their heroes and they niggas who did crazy shit. This nigga named God. He probably was a nigga who used to call mm-hmm. himself Allah or some shit in the street. You know what I'm saying? And they took that and they made a movie. I definitely believe a nigga broke a broom off of a nigga ass with I be- I think so. If I had to gamble. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it happened right here in Fresno, California. Oh my God. I, I took a break. Uh, Somebody did Bicycle Frank like that or Bicycle Frank did the motherfucker that way? Oh, the security guard. The white security guard on the bike. Did he die? Edison High that went to Roosevelt. Bicycle Frank, that's why. That's why. Because the essays did That's why he was at Edison. The essays Essays broke a broom in his ass. Goddamn. Uh, uh, I think he passed away not too long ago, though. Rest in peace, Frank. He was a cool ass security guard. Damn, Frank, I did. I remember that story. And he used to get hot when motherfuckers say, hey, yeah, you only over here, motherfucker. Cause the Bulldogs did you like, you know what I mean? That was crazy. All right, we're going to keep y'all posted with the Puff Daddy scandal in the days to come. We won't be talking about him tomorrow night because tomorrow night, motherfuckers, y'all already know what time it is. It's Friday night. It's going to be the motherfucker. Sneaky link. Friday night YouTube only, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get to this ghetto shit. A uh, young lady goes to see the neighborhood mechanic needs an alternator or a starter or some shit put in her car, but don't have the money to pay for it. As soon as he done this happen, let's take a look. Heard of stealing some shit. Bitch stole a whole, stole all the mechanic work. That's why they say. That's why they say, give me the keys. But he let her get get in there. Give it some gas. She gave it some gas. All right. Uh. That's why they ask you for the keys. Damn. Yeah, she better not never need no more work. That bucket gonna need some more motherfucking work. (laughs) (laughs) Shit out of luck. She gonna be (laughs) shit out of luck. Um, Let's see. We almost to an hour. Puffy takes time. Um, We talked about my guy. I ain't fresh. He said, I'm finna capitalize. He said it. He said he was finna capitalize. Mm -hmm. Mr. I Ain't Y'all Fresh himself up. just got to deal with LRG. Shout out LRG. They used to sponsor me back in the day. Lifted Research Group. You know what I'm saying? This nigga is all over LRG's Instagram right page. His LRG oh, shirt on. Same old LRG. I used to wear that shit. Um, used to stand up. Good to me. Got some uh, uh, Air, uh, Air Max on the day. Yeah, um, that's big. They hated this nigga to a bag. That's crazy. It happened like that, bro. You can't bless you. You can't. You can't stop the unblessed. 
are the blessed to be unblessed. You can't stop that. That was already in God's plan, I man. Most High already had him favored. Mm. You can't stop the favor from being favored. Hey, you young kids better understand this. Let me explain something to you. You 25 and under. This for you not. 25 and under. What you think you doing or what you think you think you do, getting done already. It's been around this motherfucker already. Y'all ain't doing nothing new. So when you go to talking about somebody and telling somebody something, that shit been going on from the beginning of time. Y'all better understand. You better hope you're going to make it right to this place right here. Because at the rate the shit going right now, mm-hmm. Y'all ain't gonna make it to this. And place right here. you little young motherfuckers, you gotta ask your mama for the money to get that shit that you think is fresh. <laughs> Our age bracket can go buy what the fuck we want. Right. So it's that way more of us that are adults with bills and money who don't wanna buy some of that shit. Some of that shit is fresh right. though. We're not knocking y'all shit. You know what I'm saying? I got some shit. Right. It's just some shit I won't do. I got some newer shit. I got some motherfucking sachis. I got some shit. But it's just some shit I'm not fucking with. But they fail right. to realize the bracket, the age bracket of motherfuckers who can actually afford the shit that they like, <laughs> we don't buy it. Every time we put up videos of the new shit, we be like, ah, I want that, I don't want that. You niggas are still borrowing money <laughs> scamming this shit to get y'all it. Y'all right? And if you buying it, most of y'all ain't even buying real shit. You ain't even going in the store to buy that. You getting that shit out of the motherfucking flea market, the L.A. swap meet in the alley. No, they good. They got them websites, nigga. They got that motherfucking, what's the phone app, the WhatsApp? They hit that Asian lady on there, you know, you know, you know. We know what's going on. So quit hating. Do y'all stay in your lane, do your shit, let niggas in their lane do their shit. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? That's like telling a rock and roll nigga in his black leather and spikes, he ain't fresh. He's fresh in, in rock world. I mean, you fresh in the little Uzi Vert world, nigga. We fresh in Jeezy, Ice Cube, Easy world. Like, the niggas do their motherfucking thing. Zay B in the house, Ron Lee Carnegie is in the billing. You feel me? All right, for those of you who like to speed, you better slow your motherfucking ass down. Police have new cars out on the streets. And they're very hard to recognize. They have what they call ghost logos. Let's take a look, boss. Our boys are sneaky. <laughs> Y'all are sneaky. Look at this, man. Ghost graphics. Ghost graphics. You only can see it because I'm up close to it. Other than that, you got y'all, y'all are not seeing it. Let me back up for I, you. I, I, I walked by this. I didn't even see it. He didn't even see it. I pointed out to him. He was like, what are you talking about? Like, see? Oh, you see? I'm really like maybe about 20 feet away from it. You can't, can't even see the graphics. You yeah. really can't see the graphics. That's wild. Look over this way here. Yeah, now you can see it. You can see it up close. But as soon as I start backing away, it's reflective too. So I start backing away, disappears. You can't see it. Sure. Good old Mecklenburg, trying to be sneaky. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't trust any Durango I see on, <laughs> on the road. Any Durango charger, I don't trust you. I mean, I'm assuming. I don't even gotta watch it no more. Fuck the police. <laughs> I'm not a car nigga, but I always admire bosses' cars. Boss, you gotta be the first nigga to get that shit. With money boss or something on the side, and then when you walk away, you don't see it. Up. But that shit be fire. That shit kind of fire. Police y'all janky though. <laughs> I already got it. It's in my cutlass. Oh. I got put both in my cutlass in the ghost. Oh. That's not even ghost, bro. What is that's it? Not even I just called it that. No, that, that's what he called it. It, it, it. It's similar to Ghost, but it's a reflect. That's a reflector, bro. Let me tell you why it's a reflector. It ain't. It, it looks like it ain't. But if you seen the back, you seen the back. I had the line. That's where it's a reflect uh, on the road. road. Any Durango charger? Uh, I don't car. trust you. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm assuming that's you're a cop until you say the until I know you're not. Cannot a not. Have Y'all it. boys are They gotta identify themselves. Oh, right. They gotta identify Look at this, man. Themselves. Ghost graphic. Unless it's an undercover car. Ghost graphic. Mm. But as far as it being a sheriff or a police, it must it be identifiable. Be only identifiable. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That, 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 that ain't ghost. Kind of fly, though. Kind of fly. I don't like being the police. Shout out to the sneaky no, ass police. It ain't ghost. Like when you see my colors, you got, some, you got some ghost type, shit. I got. I got I got the MB, I got the logo, and then I got the, 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 the logo of my 
in, inside the, the rally stripe. So when you when you get away from it, you can't see it. But when you get up on it, it pops out. Kind of fire. I That's why we're doing. We're doing to the back of the uh Look, 75. All the speed, all you fucking speeders, I can spot a dodge. I'm not, I can too, though. And then what I hate, because out here they got these little expeditions that the police get. I hate when I when I slow down and then the motherfucker get up on me and it's a regular patron. Like, bitch, of mm-hmm. all the cars to buy, you bought the one, the same one the police got. You stupid motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, niggas yeah. be spotting them police, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people spot a lot of shit. This guy was on Instagram, boss. Got spotted. Some ladies seen them rollies and chains and shit. He was flashing. Shit went left. Let's take a look. 33-year-old father of six is dead after inviting a woman over that he met on Instagram. So look, according to the reports, shortly after the man posted a picture of his new Rolex watch, he received a message from a woman asking him, did he want to hang out? The woman told police, from the beginning... The plan was to rob him. I went through all his pictures on social media and I seen that he had a lot of expensive stuff. He dressed very nice and he had a lot of high end clothes and he had a lot of jewelry. So I told one of my friends to come with me and we could take it. And that's what we tried to do. But things didn't go as planned. When we got there, we gave him a drink that was mixed with GHB. It was supposed to knock him out, but he wouldn't go to sleep. So we called two of our male friends to come over and help us. And I stayed in the room with him, pretending like I wanted to sleep with him. And my friend went to unlock the front door so the guys could come in. And when they did, they stabbed him. And we took all of his stuff. And the Rolex watches turned out to be fake. Listen. Everybody that's underneath your pictures and your videos when you showing off your new stuff, everybody that hit that like button really ain't happy for you. Some of them a 33 year old. Rest in peace to the young man, but he was playing. And they crazy. They went outside for fake watch. All of them. He dead. Y'all going to jail forever. Everybody done. That shit's crazy. It's premeditated. Tried to drug the nigga to drug, but you mixed the drugs wrong. Drugs wasn't even strong enough. So you called some niggas and they stabbed this nigga. And then he went, I don't know. I don't, rest in peace to him. So I can't, I can't say if he fought back or what happened. I don't know how it went. But I hope he didn't, you know, fight like that for that shit and it wasn't real. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy. Motherfuckers want it so bad. You know what I'm saying? They put that fake shit all over the internet and it's drawing. But if motherfuckers put all that energy that they take, to go rob a motherfucker. To go take something mm-hmm. from another motherfucker. Put that energy in there. Doing something that you good at. Because you ain't good at robbing. You can tell you ain't good at robbing. <laughs> robbing wasn't your thing. And if you're putting all that energy into having a bunch of that fake shit, you better put some energy into protecting yourself as well. And that don't just mean having hella guns. It means you gotta move. You gotta move smoother. Bitch hit you on Instagram first night. You meet her at Starbucks to eat, hang out. You instantly had her at the house. But that's what it is. You don't got that that natural. <clears throat> you ain't used to just being able to. Yeah, what's up with it? Let's slide to the house without that shit. You need that shit in order to get her to the house. They coming for that shit. That's crazy, man. Y'all gotta move a lot smarter than that. That is crazy. Died for some fake shit. Motherfuckers is really over here, like, and and I get it because everybody want to be somebody. See, these apps made motherfuckers believe that they were somebody, right? Because they got three thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, a million motherfuckers just following you because the shit you're posting and they're seeing it. You still nobody when you walk out the house. Nobody. You still the same motherfucker nobody. On Friday, when Debo was tripping, no, not Debo, Worm. Big Worm was going to kill them niggas because Smokey smoked all the weed <laughs> that he was selling. <laughs> Craig had to walk Smokey home, remember? His daddy came in and caught him with the gun. He said, what you going to do with that? He said, it's for protection. I got to walk Smokey home. And he said, put the gun down, son. 
Is you a man without it? He said, I'm a man without it. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I'll knock a bitch without it. I'm a man without it. I did all that just to say, I don't, I don't gotta have all the extras. I got some extras though, don't get it fucked up. I got a few extras, I got a few the charms and shit too. But that's the thing, at the end of the day, some guys can still do it without all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why we don't get caught up in all that shit over that shit. Actually, I got some motherfucking jewelry. I swear to God that I bought probably about three years ago. I asked Rob Royalty. Rob still got that at his shop. I ain't wore it one time. Right. Not one I time. seen it too. Yeah. Because <laughs> you a Mac without it, boss. <laughs> like that shit don't you a Mac that. without it. But that's the internet. The internet got it fucked up. They don't know how to talk to women in Walmart no more. You know what I'm saying? Women see a nigga in Walmart, they look, and then they walk away, and then they get home. I think I saw you today in Walmart. <laughs> you nigga, you should have walked up and said hi. They don't know how to talk to women off the computer. It's fucked up. They need all this shit to make her want to talk to me. Oh, fuck I it. got a Johnny Dane watch I ain't worn 12 years. Motherfucker don't need all that. I mean, it's it's good to have it. Nigga got some it's shit. Good to have I got some it. shit, but it's like, like I don't gotta have that. Yeah, that's Not for what he was trying all. to acquire, which was just some pussy. That shit's outside. It's outside. It's all over Instagram. It's outside. It's all over Instagram. Stop chasing the, stop chasing the motherfucker you want, and go get the motherfucker that's been chasing you. Hello. How about that? How about it? Boss, it's about that time. Is you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. You having trouble in your life? You need a new wife. Let me show you how to get one. It's time to act not the real. Having trouble with your man. Don't even sweat it, girl. You need a new plan. It's time to act out the real. Time for some Ask Dr. Real, any scenarios, stories, situations, whatever it is you got going on in your life or your homegirl got going on in her life to either my inbox, Money Boss's inbox, or the secret menu podcast at gmail.com, and I assure you that you shall. Remain anonymous. Remain anonymous. All right, boss. This fella says, so my baby mama is terrified of flying. She will not get on a plane, even if it's just from Sacramento to Las Vegas. We got to drive every time. My 30th birthday is closing in, and I told her me and the bro's wife birthdays are on the same weekend, and we trying to do Hawaii. She trips out saying that I'm not thinking about her. I'm like, you gotta get, oh, you gotta, what did it say? You gotta put your fear aside at some point. It might as well be now. She says, I'm never gonna fly. I asked her, am I supposed to never travel anywhere because you're afraid of planes? She said, if you really cared, you wouldn't. <laughs> Long story short, Hawaii's booked. <laughs> My nigga. Hawaii's booked. Our entire friend circle is going, and she says I'm a foul nigga because I should have thought of somewhere that didn't require us all to fly to go for my 30th birthday. Am I wrong, or should she face her fears if she really loves me the same way that she questioned mine? It's time to ask Dr. Red. Thirtieth birthday coming up for this guy. 
His homeboy's wifey has the same, well, a birthday on the same weekend. They trying to plan a group trip to Hawaii. He's never flown anywhere with his girl because she is terrified of flying. Everything they do, they got to drive. They drive from Sacramento to Vegas every time. I hate to drive from Fresno to Vegas. I can't imagine having to go two more hours. That's crazy. He tell her, babe, we finna do this Hawaii shit. She says, you're not thinking about me, though. You're not thinking about me. You should pick somewhere where we all can just drive and go. He's like, no, the whole group, the whole, the whole friend circle is going. You got to get over your fear at some point. Why not my 30th birthday be that time? Why not put your fear aside for my 30th birthday? She says, if you really love me, you wouldn't fly anywhere because of my fear. He said, well, I hit her with what she hit me with. If you really loved me, you'd get over your fear for me. She says he's a foul nigga for not finding somewhere for them to drive to, boss. It's time to ask Dr. Real, is he wrong for not picking a spot on land? <laughs> it's time to ask Dr. Real. The spot is on land, though. <laughs> but picking somewhere they could drive to. Um, well, I don't think he's foul at all, first of all. Um, you can't be foul when, um, this is about you. It's not about her. It's about your day. And she should do everything in her power to make your day be just as great as you want it to be, like you would do everything in your power to make her day great. So. You're not wrong. And yeah, pal, she got to get over her situation of what she don't like. I mean, I know it's a lot of people that don't like flying, and they prefer not to fly. Right? It's a lot of people like that. But sometimes you're going to have to get past that situation and say, fuck it. I'm going to get on this plane one day because it's a whole world out there that we can go see, but we can't drive the whole world. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna be able to drive all this shit. So eventually, she, they have to sit down and have a conversation about, you know, we have to break through. We gotta break through this situation because it's other shit out here in the world that we we can go see together. Because I want to go with you to go see it. But if you don't want to go, don't hold me back. Don't hold me back on your behalf. Right. Don't hinder me. Let me know. Just sit her down, show her Google statistics. More people die every day in cars than in planes, and it's by like a thousand percent. Like a thousand to one. Probably t probably ten thousand to one. Somebody Google that. Yeah. Let's see. Let's Google. Let's do some Googling. Who the fuck text me this? Yeah, it's probably more. Let's see. We're going to do a little Googling right now. Hold on. Uh, let's do comparisons yeah. of car deaths to airplane. Let's see. It's going to be a lot. It's a, it's a big deal. Seven airplane deaths. To every hundred million? This can't be right. That would be crazy. A hundred million? No. Air travel fatality rates are near zero. One death per 100 million miles traveled. So 100, every 100 million miles. One, maybe. That's crazy because if you're on the plane with, with 40 people, one person. <laughs> for every, for every hundred is, million that miles is, that, flown. Yeah, that is crazy. Because there's so many planes going up, down from every airport all day long. And there's, there's not a crash on your TV every day, but there's a wreck. You damn, I damn near see a wreck every day. I live in Vegas. Everybody leaves happy hour. <laughs> 
You're safer on a plane, for those of you who are afraid to fly. If you're afraid to fly, take that small flight from Fresno to Vegas or uh, SAC to Vegas or LA to Vegas first. Even yep, though no. those planes are smaller, so those are the ones that you feel. When you take them long trips, them planes are bigger. You, feel, you don't feel nothing. You get on the big ones to go to Hawaii, you ain't gonna feel that shit. But Sheena says, I have a fear of flying, but I love, I would love to visit Hawaii. That's the only way your ass gonna get there. <laughs> Is there a boat? Yeah, they got a they got a cruise. You could cruise to Hawaii too, I think. Lashina, you might got another yeah. way, but fly. Can you cruise to Hawaii? I've never heard of it. Can you cruise to Hawaii? I think you there's a cruise from Long Beach to Hawaii, I think. Camille Gatsby says fly private. She's so great. <laughs> oh, you been on a PJ? <laughs> Camille been on that plane, on that private with Puffy. Let me find out you let Puffy. Pet that dog. Pet that dog. <laughs> Let me find out Puffy pet that dog, Camille. Regina, Regina says he's accommodated her before. He's accommodated her before. Absolutely, he probably has. But this is this is his 30th birthday. That's a big birthday. 30 is big. You know what I'm saying? It should be all out, babe. Do your shit. And if I'm so afraid that I can't go, don't go. I had a motherfucker who never flew before. I flew to see me. Now that bitch won't stay on the ground. <laughs> we don't even talk no more. But I see her. That bitch is a jet setter now. I gave you that. I talked you through your first flight. She she hasn't stopped flying yet, boss. The Royal Caribbean, the eight-night cruise. From where to where? From where to Hawaii? Hawaii cruise. I just don't say from where. Let me see from where. All right, while you look it up, let's keep going. But look that up. So, boss... You told me, and you've told us all, the most evilest person on this earth is who? White woman. <laughs> uh, hey! <sighs> There's a TikTok superstar, I think his name is Angry Reactions or some shit. He's being accused of abusing his lovely little white girlfriend. And uh, he was live. He called his dad to have a heartfelt conversation with his dad about the accusations against him. He's going viral because niggas are laughing. Let's take a look. This girl is... This girl is making the world think that I be over here abusing her, bro. I know, man. This girl and, and Ed... The pictures, they look bad, bro. They look terrible. And I, you know, you know, you know, I'm not this type of person. You know this. You know this. She know this. She knows this. And she's, she's making everybody think that I, and you know, you know I'm not this type of person. I know, man. You know I'm not this. You know this, bro. You know we only ever get physical when she initiated first. She always putting her hands on me. I never called the police on her. She's showing bruises of me defending myself from her, and she's making the internet think that. <laughs> bro, you know this, bro. You know this, bro. You know how you raised me, bro. You know how you raised me, bro. And I, bro, I just got through all of this drama, and she was on my side. She's sitting there telling everybody, oh, I could have sent you to get That nigga cries for another seven minutes. <laughs> Camille says he's innocent. I ain't never 
never seen Camille take a nigga side that quick. She said, quit messing with anything pink. Y'all better leave that pink cocaine alone, too. Man. I didn't even know that shit existed. Pink cocaine. It's crazy. It's crazy. But back to him, boss. I don't, I don't even think that cocaine, because I'm going to just let that be what that is. That's probably fentanyl and all kinds of shit. Cocaine. <laughs> It's two C's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that ain't cocaine. It's cocaine in the documents, though. It's pink cocaine in the federal documents. But about this young man and what he's going through, boss, where do you think he fucked up? Where do you think he went wrong? Um, first of all, you went wrong when she put her hands on you. You didn't fucking leave. Mm. You should have be lined out of that motherfucker. If you ain't if you ain't gonna stand up on how she gonna make it look like, hey, check this out. She put her hands on me. I'm gonna rock her top, and guess what I'm gonna do? Stand there, and say, yep, I did it. Hello, motherfucker. Dangerous anyway. They dangerous anyway. So if I'm a if I if, if I'm gonna play with something dangerous, I'm gonna stay dangerous. That's what I'm gonna do. If I'm playing with something dangerous, you better stay dangerous, bro. You crying to your daddy. And first of all, stop calling your daddy, bro. <laughs> what is wrong with these kids? Who's a nigga man? daddy named Gene? What was he kept calling that nigga name, bro? bro. Come on. Hey, nigga. She daddy. Bro, you call, yeah, right. Like, come on. That's why you're in this. Now I know why you're in this predicament. Uh, Camille, yeah, boss did not say. Man. Boss did not teach that. You, <laughs> I didn't do that. Right. But we get what you mean. <laughs> we don't need them coming back on this episode. Like, look, yeah. they said it right there. No. Like, they said it right here. No, I did not. No, that's not I'm just saying, this is where you went wrong, my brother. If you wasn't going to stay dangerous with a dangerous person, you should have got away from that situation. Mm. They're the most dangerous motherfuckers on the face of this earth. And I keep telling y'all that for everything that moves here, a white woman made somebody move that way. Mm. Period. The white men jump because the white women say something. Tulsa, 1920, Tulsa, Oklahoma burned down because a white woman got on the elevator with black men and said the black men touched her. They burnt the whole motherfucker city down and bombed it. That's how dangerous them motherfuckers are, bro. Mm. Emmett Till died because a white woman said he did something to her. It killed him. Mm. History tells you this. They Fuck that the white men did it, because we know they're going to do it. But she is the root to all their white evils. She is. It's some black women who done put some false uh, domestic <laughs> violence. I'm not saying it too. ain't. I'm not. Listen. We're not just I'm clearing not all names. Cause some, I got a hell of homies. I'm not saying that ain't. But that shit Sit came here, from. Listen, that shit came from white women. That's where all this shit But came you're going from. to jail when she says it, for sure. When she say it, if she said you did something like her, motherfucker, just put your hands behind your back. Mm. Put your hands behind your back. Camille she, says they got white put, friends. No, they don't. <laughs> no Tequisha them don't. They just want to see you go to jail. She fell your ass in trouble. You not if, leaving. If she she going to block the door. If right. you try to get around her to get out that door, he hit me. All right. right. So don't, don't put yourself no in the itch. I call don't, the police on a bitch. Yourself. Don't put yourself in a situation. Right. That you ain't going to stay dangerous in. Right. Man, jealousy is a motherfucker. Sometimes it's the closest motherfuckers to you. This lady found out the hard way. Warning graphic content. Let's take a look. My niece six years old. She knows so much. Why the fuck you let her see this shit? That would hurt me. But child want to get on these blogs and shit. And try to make it something that it ain't, bro. No, we going to speak the truth right here, bro. I'm real, I'm raw, and I'm uncut on this bitch. I never thought my sister would do this shit to me. Now I got to go around and motherfucker at me, who did it to you, Nene? Who did it to you? This shit hurt to say my sister. My motherfucking sibling did this to me. 
We got the same mama, same daddy. My sister did this shit to me. <laughs> that shit hurt, bro. Y'all don't. My niece sitting. Mm. Mm. Oh, God damn. Bro, I can't. I kept looking at that. I didn't know what the fuck it was. It until like I really caught my that zipper. Until mask. I really caught it. I'm like, her own the sister, acid, bro. The acid melted her face. That's what happened. And this. she's the second person I've seen this week. It's a dude. It's another dude. Just had it happen to him. Where the fuck is everybody getting acid from? <laughs> the fuck? This is becoming some new trend, I guess. But damn, what the fuck could your sister hate you? That's why I didn't have his and I had hers. Because hers was her own sister. Same mama, same daddy, she said, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck could you do to make a motherfucker hate you that much? Like, that motherfucker either had to be on drugs or was just extremely jealous about it. Man, I don't know what the fuck. Because she never really got into what the jealousy, the root of the jealousy was, did she? Mm -hmm. Mental health. Mm. This bitch was crazy. From Ain't no day. bringing that back you, right there. No, nah, if you if you can do something like that to your sister, your your blood. Oh motherfucker, you a one piece of shit. Keep the keep your ass away from me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I peep that a lot of the time. I've been around some motherfuckers and they've said shit to their mothers. Or they sisters or something. I, 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 I take it in. I'm like, if we ever get to that point, I'm expendable for sure. You know what I'm saying? You got to watch how motherfuckers treat their family. Because that's going to show you a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? That just kind of show you where you are on the total point. They don't, they, if they get rid of that motherfucker, they get rid of you. Man. They get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? Cold motherfucking game. Um, I'm in Las Vegas. This young lady's in Las Vegas. She's on a ankle monitor, but she has some new stipulations placed on her probation situation. Some of you motherfuckers might be on probation soon. I don't know what y'all do, but we here for everybody. So I thought we'd share this with y'all. Check out her probation stipulations. You know what I'm saying? Cause we know y'all love Facebook and Instagram. Let's take a look. Okay. Story time on how I got both of these on. Okay, but it ain't even about that. It's about my stipulations. My stipulations say if I have social media that I cannot delete my social media and I have to let any Metro court employee follow my page or all of my social medias. What does my social media have to do with my case? Vegas takes shit so overboard, like no cap. I don't understand what you going through. My my inboxes and DMs have to do with me being on house arrest, having to only go to work at home and have four hours of free time on one day a week. That's crazy, like real crazy. But it's only for three months, which is it's no problem, but that's nuts. These stipulations are crazy. Okay, story time. We know they watching that shit anyways. Now you literally have to accept their friend's request. I <laughs> <laughs> fuck all of your comments. You wear? It's up tonight. Oh, is it? I think all of your comments. No, but what if I don't know you? How I got to accept? I don't know who the clerk is. Fuck my boys going to look through the page, make sure this is the clerk before I accept it. Like, no, motherfucker, I don't know who the fuck he is. Your ass going to jail if you don't. Going back to jail, boss. That's just that's What's happen. up, my nigga? What you in for? Murder. What you in for? Stabbed a motherfucker. But they lived. What you in for? I didn't accept them friend requests. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't accept them friend requests. The motherfuckers was trying to add me on the gram, nigga. Hardest nigga in the motherfucker. That's crazy. That's crazy. How this, this whole social media is so strong that even it now it's included in your fucking probation and shit. This is crazy, bro. They using this shit in court cases. They using this shit 
in a relationship. So you put a heart on that bitch picture, like nigga. Every this shit means everything, man. This shit is crazy. It's about that time. Let's play a little motherfucking game. Let's play a little motherfucking game. Well, it ain't really a game. We just talked about family and how sometimes the closest ones to you will do you. We want to know, is there a motherfucker in your family that you trust? Because there's somebody right now willing to give you $5 million. But you could pass on the $5 million and let your sibling get $20 million. Now, this is some cold shit, because do you have a family member that you trust enough who would give you six million dollars? See what I'm saying? Because if they get 20, if they just gave you six, you'd have a million more than you would have got by yourself. Now you can say, OK, is there a motherfucker? I know if I pass on my five, my brother going to give me 10. But a lot of us ain't so goddamn sure of these motherfucking siblings. <laughs> This bitch just had a sibling throw acid on her. In the comments, are you taking your five million? Or are you going to sit back and let your sibling get the 20 and hope they include you in the play to where you kind of came out better? We got to take it to the boss. What you doing? And who you doing it with? What you doing? And who you doing it with? Siblings means... Brothers and sisters, right? Can't be cousins. Can't be aunties and uncles. This has to be a brother or a sister. I got one brother. <laughs> this is cold. Oh, shit. That's crazy. They gonna do do right I tell there. them? Do I, do, I, do I get to tell them? Uh, now we got to put you stipulations know? on the game. Wait a minute. Are we able to tell them? Because I didn't think about that. Are we? See, we should have yeah. been like, are we able to tell them what the play is? Yeah, well, you would have to in order, because if not, they'd feel like, I just won 20 million. What you mean you had the chance? You literally can tell them, look, I got a chance to get 5 million for me. But if I pass it, you get 20. And you could be this you cold. Could you could be this cold. Well, not cold, but you it's, it's your play. You gonna get twenty, but I want twelve. You getting eight million? A lot of motherfuckers ain't going for that. It's, it's but you can tell them, boss. That's the thing. So now with that into play, would you do it? Who would you do it with? And what you want out of the deal? I, I can do it with all my siblings. I think. Dre Boja, Cat. Dre Boja, Cat, my brother Eric, my brother and uh, my sister. I can do it with all my siblings. Okay. Because they know. But you got to pick one. Because I, I would do it with, uh, I would do it with Cat. I do it with Cat. <laughs> Lauren Jackson said, give me my five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey. You do it with Cat. I would do it with Cat. I'll do it with Cat because I, I would have to explain her to play. If I, if I can explain it to her. Mm -hmm. Now, if I can't explain. No, you can. You can. I, you can. I, that, that's what I'm saying. But if I couldn't explain, I wouldn't do it with neither one of them. You take five. Nobody. Because they feel like, my this is my money, money, nigga. What you mean? Because you'll pop up and be like, ah. Sport. They'll be like, what? Right. You'll be like, you got 20 million, huh? Nigga, how you know yeah. already? Cuz I passed on five so you could get 20 now. Oh, nigga, this is my 20. Right. Money fairy that's, came that's to me like last that. night. It'd be crazy. But now right. that you know that you can't explain, we know that you're doing it with yeah. Cat. You're doing it with Big Sis Cat. Shout yeah, out Cat, right? right? Now, mm -hmm. with the 20 on the table, what is you telling her you want out of that deal, though? That's the question. Uh, 10, that's good. Uh, 50, 50. Yeah, we split it. Cause, cause Kat is like, like my sister. You know, even though he went through some shit before, 
she would, if I can explain it to her, because she, she's like the one that, that's going to ride it out. You know, Come on, nigga. Gonna ride some shit out. Shit. When we go? <laughs> now? I go ride Tomorrow out. we can't go now. <laughs> yeah, my sister, is, my sister is like, when it's time to do some real shit, and, and, and my sister went, got some trouble behind me before. All right. So I know what, 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 what it is with her. I have to explain it to her. And it's gonna be easy. She and she gonna cut the money in half anyway. Like nigga, I'm gonna your team and my team. Let's get on easy. When I leave, I'm me telling them, "Hey, Kyle, I gotta play for twenty million." Everybody's saying five. they putting their family in contracts. Camille wants a contract. <laughs> Jackie wants nah, a contract. I'm doing it with my brother. I want eleven though. I gotta get the larger portion. I need eleven. <laughs> Owe me some shit. That that's gonna be the problem. Right? That's gonna be the problem. I need eleven now. That's gonna be you the gotta problem. agree to that's it, 11. nigga. You gotta agree to it, or I get five Roger, and you get nothing. And you're still gonna give me something. You want nine million? You want nine million? Do you want nine million? I need eleven. I gotta play. I gotta play. They finna drop twenty million in this account. I gotta take eleven, nigga. You got he'll do it though. He rolling. He yeah, rolling. Yeah, I know. He rolling. He rolling, man. Well, I need major, egg. Major, I need major, the <laughs> major, major gonna go. But I, me, because I know cat. I just cat Yeah, I need one. I need the larger percent. No, no, and that cat. one no, I'ma throw the moms or, you know. Right, cat right. right. Give shit me all I bought. Shit all I mean, nigga, give me five. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. No, cat, cat be, yeah. I don't need all that. Right. <laughs> Lauren Jackson says she's taking her five. I don't trust the motherfucking soul. <laughs> Lauren don't trust the motherfucking soul. She said, fuck the shit. Yeah, but that's the catch. You got to tell them. Because if you don't tell them, man, that motherfucker boy, you'd be shit yeah. creep. Motherfucker be like, yeah, you didn't do that. I get to explain. That's the cool part. That's why I act. If you get to explain, then it's going to be different. Yeah, we got to explain. That's cool. Let me see what Dirty Hussein said. Dirty Hussein said, give me the five and I'll bless him. (laughs) He taking the five too. (laughs) Damn, but it could be 20 in the... That's crazy, boy. Dirty Hussein said, give me the five, I'm going to bless him. Split this do my nigga quit like that. I'm gonna split a million up between you motherfuckers. I ain't trust none of y'all. Mandy says my brother's gonna get me. <laughs> That'd be crazy if they get the 20 and run off. I know a motherfucker who didn't get as much money. But they had a sibling that took good care of him. And they got a lot of money though. They probably got 400, 500, 600,000 and ghosted the whole family. Ghosted everybody. I said, this motherfucking money make a motherfucker act funny. All right, sad news for you niggas who love the Dollar Tree like me. <laughs> Dollar Tree is increasing its ceiling price to $7. Because more six figure shoppers are now flocking to the discount store. These rich motherfuckers, this boy's money so fucked up out here. Oh my God, wait, Dollar Tree? What? Babe, these are real Oreos and they fucking Oreos in here. I didn't think they had real. Yeah, Dollar Tree has real shit in it, motherfucker. Real Oreos and Doritos and other shit that's real brand name shit in there. Expiration date right around the corner. <laughs> but it's real shit in there. The ceiling is now seven dollars, boss. This is showing us what the economy's like because the ceiling, because it used to be a dollar. Everything was a dollar. 99 cent store was 99. Then it went to the ceiling was 325 was the highest anything in there could be. Then it went, I think last year they started having shit in there that was $5. Now Dollar Tree has a $7 ceiling for shit that they carry in the store. This is a sign that everything's going up in price. Are we in a fucked up time or what? Very much so. Um, all this shit's gonna keep going up if we don't get a hold of this monster, or I mean, get a hold of this monster fast because this monster is out of control. And I think it's because 
We keep printing up money and giving it to everybody else. If we don't keep printing up money and the money is losing its value every time you print up more money, more money, more money, and then you're not even fixing it, giving it to the people here, you're going to give it to other countries. We're going to be in a world of fucking hurt mm. that we are already in, but we're going to be in a lot more hurt because I never understood how a person that is in debt trillions of dollars can give away trillions of dollars. So that must mean you got a lot of trillions, or what's the next thing after trillion? Gazillion. I'm guessing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. I guess. You got a lot of that shit going on, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, all the shit, all the, all the shit you get out of Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree is shit that other other stores was overstocked. Mm-hmm. So they throw it in the Dollar Tree. But so how's this shit going up? How you, hey, nigga, how you everything high up. Everything high up. I bought a 20 ounce. This fucked me up. I order food online, but I'm like, I'm going to get my soda from the store because I know the stores at the fast food restaurants be high. So I'm going to go in 7 Eleven and get me a, a motherfucking Sprite. Usually the Sprites used to be two for two, two for three. It was one Sprite for $3.29, a 20 ounce Sprite, $3.29. For a 20 ounce soda, bro. Shit is high right these, now. These are 350, 350. In the cup? Like Almost. In the cup, 355. That's crazy. Say what? Almost $4. God damn. This is almost $4. Yeah, so shit is higher right now. If you really look at it, shit is higher. Milk, cheese, eggs, bread, everything's high. Uh, Corey Barnett says, well, if I can tell my bro first, then I'll pass on the five million that you don't got to get you five million. I'll end up with 15 million. So he's doing he's going to get a brother five. Or he'll take his five million and then need to stay. Back. Okay. I seen something else I wanted to go back on to. Let me see. Let me check. Somebody else said something else, too. Was it about the money? Damn, I forgot it. I better stop drinking all that soda shit too. Soda I don't drink a lot shit. of it, but every now and then when I got the right shit, I need to burp. That's why it's always a Sprite or a 7 Up because I need to burp. It's, I got indigestion or whatever the fuck that is. I just be needing to burp. Like, especially Saturday mornings after a night of this shit. Sneaky Link, I got to burp. You know what I'm saying? Mandy said with tacos. I got usually it's Saturday mornings. I got to burp, and I can't just burp the same. I need that shit to burp. You know what, I'm uh, what else was there on the motherfucking charts? What is this? Okay, thirty and up. Just wanted to let y'all know this update. They're using CY for call you. It's an update. So if you see your kids text you with the abbreviation. That mean they finna hit your phone instead. See why? Call you. It's six more letters. Just type that shit out. Oh, wow. Six more funky ass letters. This is crazy. Internet, bro. Internet just took over the whole world, bro. Oh, wow. We fell. We fell, we fell right in. So right into the victim of what it was doing. It's what the Ooh. world is now, though. But it's crazy because motherfuckers used to say it about the world we was in when that motherfucker went from VHS to DVDs. Well, I ain't buying that shit. <laughs> the laser CD shit. That shit, motherfucker. It's the infrared beam in that motherfucker gonna hypnotize you, motherfucker. They didn't want to go from VHS to CD. To DVD, I mean. And that's crazy because, nigga, we literally... Shout out to everybody that's lived. We lived, bro. We seen eight tracks in our time, although I'm not old enough to say I played an eight track, but I remember what it looked like. We've seen eight tracks in our time. I didn't have an eight track of some shit I liked, though. But we seen records. We've seen records. we seen cassette tapes, nigga. They out of here. 
We seen CDs, nigga. They gone. <laughs> this shit's every whole. Mama used to have that whole thing full of records and shit. They had to. I had the tape thing on my wall, nigga, like JNC House of Record with all my motherfucking tapes, nigga. Had to rewind the song to play it again. And then DVDs was the shit because you could skip right to the song you want over and over. All that shit is gone. And that entire catalog of all the music in the world is in this one fucking phone in my hand. That is crazy. Shout out to Living We've Lived. I seen something that asked, when was the last time you used a pencil? Pencils are gone. Rest in peace, pencils. What else is gone, boss? Phone booths is gone? Phone booths are out of here. Rest in peace, the phone booth. Pay phones, oh. period, is rare. Crazy. Dirty Hussein said he did the eight tracks, vinyl, CDs, and string. We didn't came a long motherfucking way. Camille says she uses a pencil every day for what? <laughs> Cursive writing is out of here. They don't even teach it no more. Lashina used a pencil yesterday too. For what? Newspaper stands are gone. That shit come right to my phone. That is gone. It's crazy. We lived. We lived, man. We didn't see some shit. We didn't lived. Let me see what Type else. Writers. Typewriters. I, I remember a typewriter putting the paper in that motherfucking. <laughs> That's crazy. Gone. That's gone. Damn, I gotta mention this though, cause boss, I am a fan. Ice Cube offers Caitlin Clark $5 million to play in the big three. The information got out there. He was trying to keep it a secret. I don't know if she's going to take it or not. I think she's going to go to the WNBA, although I don't think she can make that much there. I don't know what the highest. We looked it up before the highest salary of the WNBA, but... She might want to go over there and get her bag. Can I read what he says? He says, we intended to keep the offer private while Caitlin Clark was in the playoffs for the championship, but I won't deny what's now already out there. The big three made a historic offer to Caitlin Clark. Why wouldn't we? Caitlin is a generational athlete, and we can achieve tremendous success in the big three. The skeptics laughed when we made Nancy Lieberman the first female coach of the men's pro team, and she won the championship. Shout out her. I don't know who Nancy Lieberman is. that the Tennessee lady? Nancy Lieberman? Ten Who's the Tennessee female coach? She she was pretty famous. Lisa Summer. Leslie won Summer. it all Summer. in the... Her name was Summer something. I guess Lisa, Lisa Leslie coach. was a coach too. She won it all in season two. With our offer, Caitlin Clark can make history and break down even more barriers for women athletes. Shout out Caitlin Clark. One of my favorite motherfucking athletes. One of my favorite female athletes, but not even just female athletes. She's one of my fucking favorite athletes, man. I haven't liked anybody that much in a long time. I like her a lot. I like... Um, Pat Summer something. Summer, Pat Summer... Pat, the white lady um, uh, from Tennessee. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to the black girl. She just got a a nice salary, and then I think the white lady for LSU just got a record breaking deal. So shout out to women's sports because I be bashing that shit sometimes. <laughs> it was boring, but the college girls are making it way fucking more exciting right now. The tournament, the tournament been fire. You know what I'm saying? I've watched more women basketball than men college basketball this year. Even even NBA. What Draymond do today, though, boss? Did you see it? I didn't see it. I just saw he got ejected. I saw Stephen Curry crying and shit. Did, I missed it, and I didn't have time because I was getting the show today? ready. Yeah, today. I didn't see it. 
I seen everybody on my time like it's time to get rid of that nigga. And then I only clip I seen on the gram was Curry he was crying like he covered his eyes and it was like he's crying over this nigga. Get over this nigga. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, speaking of 7-Eleven, where I bought Damn. that Sprite, 7-Eleven is coming out with a brand new Big Bite Hot Dog Sparkling Water. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. God damn. <laughs> I'm not even eating a hot dog out of 7-Eleven. I'd be damned if I drink the water. I'm not fucking with this. I'd have to lose a cold ass bet to take a drink of that. I might buy one and then just keep it for when everybody's all together and that's the bet. Super Bowl or something. Losing Super Bowl, people got to drink a hot dog. <laughs> Fuck it. Fucking hot dog. This, this nigga got ejected four minutes into the game, wrapping his arms around Patty Mills' neck. What? <laughs> what? Four minutes into the game? That's why I didn't see it. It happened so fast. Motherfucker. Draymond Green. Draymond Green got e Draymond Green ejected less than four minutes into the Warriors' Magic game. God. So they said he left it. He wrapped his arms around Teddy Neal's neck during the this game. Nigga this here, nigga man. Mind, boy. He just can't control himself. He got that AD. He, he got this shit meat meal, like I said. He can't control it. He just can't control himself, bro. He can't control himself. All right, I've been ducking it. I've been avoiding it. I've been kind of letting it simmer and fly, and luckily Puffy came about. But we gotta we gotta address the elephant in the motherfucking room. It's just too many people asking me why we haven't spoke about it. We really try not to delve into too much of raps and lyrics and shit. We'll talk about some of the shit, but we can't help it, man. Uh, I shouted out the album already. We don't trust you, Metro Boomin. Future. That shit dropped last Thursday, and on that album was a song called "Like That," featuring none other than. King Kendrick Lamar. King Cooper. On the song, Kendrick Lamar tears into Drake, J. Cole, and any other nigga that around these niggas. He held no, he held no punches. Drake's last album for all my dogs had a song called What's that song shooter called? Or something. First person first, shooter. First. Where they yeah. shouted Kendrick out in a way, saying that we're the big three. But both of their verses, they proclaim to be number one. In both of their verses, they're proclaiming to be number one, but then they mention the big three is Cole, Drake, and Kendrick, which is kind of true because they all came in at once. And, it's, and Wale was the fourth nigga at that time. He was right there with him. Big Sean was like in a close proximity and it just it's crazy how those two kind of faded out and these three still kind of remain in top niggas but he went at these niggas but the 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 part that i'm getting to though about it all is it's been a bunch of rumors about kendrick and drake's alleged beef or whatever kendrick and cole was supposed to have a rumored group album coming out at some point but the fact that the verse is on Future's album was the shocking part because Drake and Future have a joint album. They hang around. Future's on two songs on Drake's last album. Rumors started circulating when Drake dropped the album with 21 Savage that Future was unhappy with him because they thought he thought they were supposed to be doing the What A Time To Be Alive Part 2 album. He was kind of upset with the nigga for fucking with not fucking with 21, just the fact that nigga, we would happen to our album because that kind of catapulted 21 Savage to another level. Fast forward, all the speculation around the disses and the verses, I, I don't even really care about as far as what Kendrick and the rapper shit. The shit with Future and Drake is what's deeper than everything. It's like, why would you allow him to come on this album and do it? Everyone's speculating that it's behind. <laughs> Some pussy. 
Drake has a song on his album called What Would Pluto Do? When you first hear the song, you think he's just rapping like, oh, I got some bitches. They on this. What would Pluto do? Pluto is Future's nickname. What would Pluto do? Pluto would fuck the bitch. Pluto would shit on the bitch, Pluto. But later on, niggas was like, no, listen to what he's really saying. He really kind of was pillow talking, letting a certain girl know that, hey, I know that you fucking my homie too. <laughs> you fucking my homie. And that's what they saying. Future took offensive. You had a song called What Would Pluto Do? But in the song, when you listen to the song, the whole time he's talking to the girl about how much I really adore you and want to fuck with you, but you're fucking my man. You're fucking my man, you're fucking my man. But he makes the hook catchy. But niggas say Pluto was like, nigga, you pillow talking. I let you know I'm fucking her, but you let her know that I let you know. Niggas do that. I let you know, then you let her know that I know. That's so That shit is weird. It's really weird. So as as that shit kept going, um, first of all, Aiden Ross, one of the biggest uh, podcasters and shit on the internet or whatever he is, he said he spoke with Cole. Cole's not interested in responding, so we're not probably going to get a reply from him. Uh, someone made a comment saying uh, Drake's not worried. Out of all the comments on the internet, Drake hasn't said a word. He likes that comment saying he's not worried about Kendrick either. So I think the whole shit with Future lays heavier than the shit with Kendrick. I think Kendrick dropping an album every five years, he's not really a threat to Cole or to um, Drake. But the strange shit that happened was Rick Ross unfollows Drake. Nav, who's a Canadian artist, unfollows Drake. If you think about Drake and you think about Ross, they've had hella songs together, many hits, probably seven, eight, nine bangers. Drake is either featured on or put Ross on or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So that was weird for them to do that. So I'm like, does this nigga have a pillow talking videotape or phone conversation? Like, why would Ross unfollow you, nigga? Nigga started choosing sides. Travis Scott's on stage like, play the diss, play the diss. Travis Scott and Drake got a lot of shit. So I'm like, why is everybody against Drake? Why is everybody against Drake? Lil Wayne puts out a statement. Lil Wayne says, well, he doesn't put out a statement. He, this is just his post after all this shit happens. He says, the devil will attack you through people you thought had your back. That's all that Wayne, and Wayne never tweets, posts, none of that shit. It's rare for him to do any of that. But he posted that the day after all this shit transpired. You know what I'm saying? But in true Drake fashion, I'm trying to speed through it, boss. I'm trying to speed through it. He invited the bitch that Ross just dumped <laughs> to a concert. Sent her a motherfucking special OVO, which is Drake's label invitation to his tour that he's on right now with Lil Wayne, and she goes. So that kind of show him snapping back at Ross real quick. But who Ross broke up with he don't care. <laughs> then they said, I'm getting to the this is the last part, boss. I know it's taking a while. No, I'm sure. It's all over. A stripper at I forget the name of the club. And she's the one that the song's about. They call her uh let me tell you what her name is. They call her whatever her name is. Do they call her Princess Diamond? Future has a song about something and the name of the song is her name her alias they said drake was going down there to that club to date her all the time and then future came in there one night she left with him and this is where it all came from she gets on the motherfucking internet and she wanted to reply because everybody's saying it's about her let's take a listen at what she has to say that i was black i'm very much not black i'm very much colombian i don't want to be black babe nobody's beefy don't worry I'm not that important. I'm just a regular girl. I'm just a regular person. It ain't about me. I don't need to address or clear anything up because those who know, know, and that's all that matters. Yeah, no? So. And guess what? People are going to want to believe what they want to believe. So it doesn't matter what I clear up. <laughs> nigga, it, nigga doesn't care. He's laughing at this. He literally don't give a f He's not going nowhere. 
I don't know who thought he was going somewhere. Comments off my life. So I could get on live like I used to, like a normal person. I don't work at the club anymore. So, and no, my name is not Amber either. There's nobody named Amber. I'm over job. Who the fuck said I was black? I'm very much not black. I'm very much Colombian. I don't want to be black, babe. My man just doesn't want me working at the club anymore, so that's why I haven't been there. Cause I could talk however I want. Yep, I'm mid, mid as f That's what I'm saying, I don't know what the hype's about. What the f said I was Camille Gatsby says her windows ain't even tinted, she's for the streets. <laughs> I live in Vegas, my windows ain't tinted either. I got cream leather and shit, I want a bitch to see me in here. But boss, what do you, now, that overall picture I painted, if all of this shit boils down to her, because she says, I'm not at that club anymore, my man doesn't want me at the club. Which one of these niggas is the man who took her out the club? All of this shit, all this great music and shit is about to end because, well, it might be some great music coming because of it. Because we got that song. I was tired of coochie, my coochie, my coochie, my coochie, my coochie. It was good to hear some niggas go at it. Instead of my pussy so good, my pussy so good. You know what I'm saying? You might get good music. But what do you think about all this shit and pussy being at the core of it, boss? In the dick, right? <laughs> <laughs> you niggas make too much money to be sent to dick, right? Swear. You niggas... And if this shit is really about this shit, just really tell me. She just said the coldest line, too. You niggas just goofy with a bag. That's it. Yep. You, you niggas is goofy with a bag. If y'all, if y'all, like, you know I got a bitch that look better than that bitch probably somewhere in the rolling deck down the street. Yeah. I'm just saying, like. It ain't always her look, though, boss. It ain't always her looks. It ain't. It ain't. She doing ain't. something else. She might, she might have had a fire. But, but y'all got action at, y'all got action at. Every bitch in the world, just about <laughs> in the world with fire, bro. In the world, so, I'll be back. I'll be back in this at night. She cool, and I ain't shitting no baby girl. She fine. She a cutie. I'm not shitting on her. She she is cute. But nigga, you two niggas beefing over that, right? Well, future's saying pretty because when you listen, because I'm a future fan. Shout out Pluto. A lot of niggas don't like Future. I love him. Boss, you know I love Future. I like my Future. Do. I be on my Future you shit. Do. So I'm riding and I'm you listening do. to the whole album and it's like the whole album is a Drake diss. <laughs> but all of it is I'm a player sliding with your bitch. Mad about a bitch, yeah, I but... throw the bitch to my homies. Like I don't beef over it. Like his whole thing is he's saying I ain't tripping on no bitch. It's like nigga, you, yeah, but, you sneak but diss you me about a bitch. Cause you sneak this to me about the bitch. You, yeah, regardless if he sneak this you, cause a player is gonna be a player anyway. I ain't gotta explain to you. You do. You did that. Let the pussy nigga do what he do. You don't start falling to be a pussy nigga cause a pussy nigga right. said something, do you? But in the in the world we come from, in the world we come from, he just bite me. He had to bite him for his actions though. He had to bite him real quick. Like, ah, yeah, nigga, you soft about about this. Listen, when you bite a nigga. Right. Mm -hmm. So this, let's just put it in the game. It's mm -hmm. a Mac out. Mm, it's a this Mac wasn't out. even a real Mac out. It's only one Mac this and was, this, 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 Yeah, it was only one Mac and golf. So you don't have a Mac out with a motherfucker that ain't a Mac. Right. You let him say what he says because he don't even fall in the category. He got an album called Take Care. He sings to the women every like, you know he's lover boy. Leave Drake alone. You know he love his women. Yeah. Oh, you know, that's I what he do. And that's what he do. Why you even getting involved in it or entertaining it, man, for you to be a player. Up. If I'm a player, I'll be like, hey, man, let the nigga say what he say. I don't give yeah. a fuck. Hey, 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 dog, we ain't on that. Yeah. We ain't on that. Let the nigga be the nigga because that that's what he going to do because I'm still fucking bitch anyway. Yeah. Future tearing his ass up. 
crying. Future on that motherfucker going crazy. On one, he said something crazy on one song. He said, I let the bitch fuck a nigga that I birthed. Like the little homie I put on. Like he just, I'm like, every, like, okay, this is the album for the, his album is, I don't give a fuck about these hoes. The album is what they could have called it. The title of the album is We Don't Trust You. If you're a Metro, don't trust you, I'm going to shoot you. But he, he, whole album, he's going on some. Like, and then you, know, you got to look at, you got to look at, like, Rick don't even give me, like, if you stripped him of all the money, he probably would never get no pussy. Who? Right. If you stripped him of Absol- all yeah, the money. Yeah, absolutely he not. Pay, he would not get no None. pussy. Not the and nigga that he originally started as. He's he's hung around. The right. nigga's got some swag, grew a beard, got some braids. Okay, now nigga, but the nigga you were when you first like it'd be crazy looking back at the old shit. Like that's a goofy looking nigga. No homo, no diddy. Like you ain't had no hoes, boy. If you didn't rap, you'd have no bitches. No and diddy. What's crazy is what's crazy is yo daddy had that shit in him. That shit didn't even rub off on you. Memphis, remember when I used to tell, a Memphis Mac. Remember I, listen, remember I used to say, some people are born, I mean, hating don't just start in your book. Uh, just don't, you don't roll over the bed, uh, roll out the bed and bump your head and you are, you, you just a hater now. No, that shit is in your DNA, right? The DNA of his daddy missed him. Because he was in Canada with his mom and his mother is what, boss? And his mama's wife. <laughs> wife, homie. I had to, y'all. I'm sorry. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean it. It's showing, bro. It's showing. He just said, like, if you look at, when I, that's why I ain't never fucked with the boy. Like, I don't, I, honest to God, I don't have a Drake, I probably got one Drake song in my phone. Redemption. I don't even know what Redemption is. That's it. I got that one song, Redemption on your mind. What you think about it? And that's in a slow... Like, yeah, that's it's in some of that. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I know what song you're talking about. That's fire. That is a fire song. Right, it's dope. I'm not tripping. But I fuck with Drake, though. only fucking song... I fuck with Drake, though. ...that I have in my phone with that guy. That guy just don't... It's, I guess my... Me being me, I just think... I, I didn't leak. I didn't leak on that. I fuck with more singing on. Drake too, though, than the average motherfucker. I like some of that. I like when he talking to the bitches. I do. I really do. So I can relate to what you're saying. Like the rap shit, I be listening, and I don't. I don't believe you. Like when you rapping, I can't. I, then, yeah, yeah, that's I what I said. I can't take that. Your man's shit. and your man's like, and you don't even shit. look. Yeah. You don't even look like you ready for he, what you talking about. He he never really say he'll do nothing, but he always say he'll drop the bag on you and have them boys around and do something. <laughs> So I go, oh, whatever, man. Because if you ain't have no money, and then them niggas, a back, them niggas a backdoor you for a bigger bag. Backdoor you. Come on, man. But when he be singing to them bitches, I be relating to that shit. You know what I'm saying? But <sighs> I fuck with Future, though. I don't know. It ain't, it ain't no biggie. It ain't no biggie. Like, we'll keep y'all posted with that saying. shit, too. <laughs> if them two niggas is juggernauts behind this shit, boy, boy, Tinder on the left side. Watch out. Do you think, now back to the rap part of it, do you think Mm -hmm. Drake or Cole will reply to Kendrick's diss, and who will reply first out of the two, if they do? Drake is more likely to respond. Okay. That's his thing. I don't think J. Cole is even going, because he's too conscious. J. Cole's too conscious. He don't want no he don't want smoke like that. Like right. he'll he'll rap some Excuse shit, me. but I don't think he want no smoke like that. Like that'll lead into me back and forth and on albums with this nigga. I don't think Cole is even on that type of time. Mm. You know what I mean? He's too conscious of a motherfucking rapper for me that I think. Right. I, I think it'll be like nine months from now. He'll have yeah, something. He'll say some slick shit, and yeah. it'll be like I can't. I don't want to do my brother that way. Get some kid yeah. and Abel. <laughs> Who would have th- who would have thought it'd be my brother who can't like you know what I'm saying? It'd be some shit like Yeah. We supposed to be brothers. That's what it seemed right, like Cole right. would do. And I know his album though is ready to his album is done. 
So he might be in there trying to take a verse off to put some shit with some shit, but he's don't another nigga who co- he don't drop every year either. So, and he produced a lot of his shit. That Rodney O and Joe Cooley beat. <laughs> Crazy. Cole, I don't know if you gonna go make one because you gotta make because if you coming back for this nigga and that, you gotta have one of them ones that line up with it. Cause <laughs> 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 that was the shit. Yeah. Well, no, do, 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 do. And, 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 and some of y'all don't even know who Rodney O and Joe Cooley is. That's Rodney before Yo. y'all fucking time. As before, some of y'all fucking time. The finger waves right. with the blowout perm in the back, press laid down mm. for the thunder. That's some real play. I got another fun know. fact about that song, though. E-40 did it, too. E-40. And if you listen to the hook that 40 says... Future's it's hook is damn near the same way. Okay. The niggas yeah. went, they tapped in yeah. off the it's Charlie right. Hustle that's album. Go listen to the first. Charlie Hustle album and you'll hey, hear it. And I guarantee you that's why he probably referred to the 40 because he be legit line. Charlie Hustle is Kendrick's favorite 40 album. Wow. He said it. <laughs> he said it a lot that that's one of his favorite 40 albums. And, um, Damn, I clicked out of your order. Favorite 40 album. Look, that's his back. favorite. Yeah, that's, that's his favorite crazy. album. So when he heard that and beat, he came lot, in here like, what you right. got? Because if you listen in the future, he's not even talking about the shit he's talking nowhere about. nowhere So at that all. shit was there. The hook was there probably. And Kendrick said, "Let me. I got what I want to do. <laughs> These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't pull a coughing out your mouth. I said, God damn, don't pull a coughing out your mouth. Your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't pull a coffin out of your mouth. He went to talking that shit. Yeah, he was talking that shit. Shout I out to him. <laughs> he said, it's time for this nigga to show up. Ooh. He's clicking up. That nigga told me everybody clicking up. Nope. Wait, when I heard that, I, I'm staring at myself. I'm like, I had to rewind it. Niggas clicking up, but can I be legit or 40 water? That was fire. And can shout out for keeping. Cannot, cannot be legit. In, what? Meaning you're fake. Didn't even understand. You're clicking fake, up the click. And you're clicking up the click. Cannot be, they cannot and be legit. Legit and fake. <laughs> you niggas is fake. Oh my God. He was, he was killing the ass. The way he put that shit. The way you put that shit and that be my no only life. problem. Nigga, you couldn't stand alone, like nigga. You that be my only problem though, because I'm a Kendrick no fan, right? But he loses me in the last couple of albums because he won't rap over that kind of shit. If he rapped over West Coast shit all the time, he'd have some shit. But he gets eclectic and shit, and I get it because I'm a vibe and a music nigga too. I like musical shit. But if he rapped over that kind of shit every motherfucker, oh, he'd be. Because the younger audience is like, mm, we want to hear this shit. Yeah. If he rapped yeah. over the shit, Baby Stone Gorillas is rapping over, Draco the Ruler's rapping over, 40's rapping over, all that. If he had one album, just Mob and West Coast Slaps, that motherfucker would be fire. Now, let me ask you a question because I've seen this. That, now we own music. Because we own music. Let's, Let's do it. Let's music. do it. We own music. Okay. If you take Messi Moore, oh my God, right? Mm-hmm. Listen, you take Messi Moore, and you take him in the category of one of the top. Could he be one of your top rated gangster rappers? I'm, I'm the wrong nigga to ask because I don't give a fuck about Messi Marv. I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't give a fuck about Messi Marv. Um, grew up, love mess. Mess has some shit. I don't fuck with mess. Mess went out like a dope fiend. Mess went out as a meth head. Mess, uh, I stopped fucking with mess when he dissed too short. I stopped fucking with mess when he dissed E40. Now, if I got to be unbiased and put him in the gangster rap yeah. category because I seen that post, mess is yeah. not fucking with Ice Cube. Mess is not fucking with Sibo. Mess was not fucking with the Jacka for me. He's up there, but he's not above my Mac Dre, my Jacka, my Ice Cube, my Sibo. 
he he's not my top five. He might make the top ten gangster rappers on wet, but then that's gangster rappers on the West Coast. I fucked with Mess. When Mess right. started playing with his nose, I kind of left Mess the fuck alone. I'm a, I, I, I fucked the fuck. I don't care. See, I, I wasn't caring about what he did, what he did now, and what he did in the past. I'm talking about as far as his music. His catalog. He had some shit. I, fu- I would never just messed out because I, I, I don't do powder. Me neither. So when that when his when his catalog kind of went that way, I kind of I couldn't relate. I fucked with it. You know what I'm saying? But and then I be watching the the person the character because. Yuck Mouth did it for me too, because Yuck Mouth was one of my. T- I, I'd have Yuck Mouth over him, because Godzilla's like in my top. That's probably one of the greatest West Coast ever. albums ever. Godzilla, but ever. when when Yuck became an internet personality, it was like he just was doing some shit. I was like, oh, I don't fuck with this. It changed the nigga That's I'm listening to rapping to who you are as a person. It just fuck. It just fucked it up for me. So when Mess started tweaking, and he went after short and then he went after 40. I was kind of done. I was done. And then when he jumped out and whipped out the pistol on them kids in the crest, I, I really was done. Where JD's at? <laughs> I was done. I was done. But I, I can say this. I can say this. I was done with Mess. I was done with Mess. Maybe eight. Mess was in the playlist. All summer. He was. Every, I'll give him that. every summer. Every summer. He was in the playlist. And that's big because I'm when, when when I say this, that's why I'm asking you. Because when I say this, who else was in your playlist that long? Disobeyish came out the same year as I think. What E40 album came out that year? Because remember, San Quinn had a fire ass album that fire year. Ass album. Yeah. San Quinn's best album, Messy Mars' best yeah. album, and one of E40's best albums came out all three in one yeah. year. I forget what that was. And then Mac Dre had one too, I think, came right after that wave. That was fire. He 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 had his run. It, you know what I'm saying? I fucked with him. You know what I'm saying? But I be looking at niggas' character. 2004. See, I can't look at the character. I, I, I do. The character ain't the music. I, I, I only want to stick on the music. Because if I go into people's characters, it, it, that, that shit throws every, a lot of shit. Yeah. Go off. Because I, I know a lot of shit a lot of these niggas did and do. And, yeah. Right. Like, just like the boy Sugar but Free. I did, think he's the right. greatest fuck. You can't. Right. When it comes to Shout that shit right there, you can't. But. Right. You know some shit. His, I know okay, shit. you know some shit. You know what I mean? See, I don't know, I know some shit. shit. I know a little wanna, shit, but and it's kind of the same wanna, messy Marv shit that I don't fuck with neither. But yeah, he I don't ain't really promoting it. You know what I'm saying? He promoted it on one song and it blew my mind. <laughs> I heard Sugar Free say some shit on one song. I said, "Oh, you too, nigga." <laughs> he said she reported it. Yeah, I took a line of crystal meth, broke it down, and snorted it. I said, "Nigga, what?" <laughs> Yeah, bro. I'm just Nigga, what did you talk about? I said, no, Man. that sugar free. Don't never play that one again. Crystal meth. What that's, the fuck? That catalog is crazy, bro. Mets got some shit. Like, the ice cream, the one that so. had the ice cream truck on the front was fire. Disobeyish was fire. Them, them my two for him, for me. Them was my two for me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody love okay. playing with my nose. It black, but I never could vibe with it. Cause like, <laughs> what I'm gonna do? I was smoking weed then. I'm gonna just hit a blunt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit fucked a lot of my niggas up. Cause they ran with that shit literally. You know what I'm saying? They went right with him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I just smoked my weed until I couldn't no more. You feel me? He had some shit though. Just going at short, nigga. You can't go at short, nigga. You can't go at short. You can't go at 40 for me to listen. Uh, since we're talking about classic Bandana. albums, Bandana's Tongue yeah. Rings and Tattoos. That was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. But see, I still don't put them albums right there. I don't put them albums over Keek the Sneak Copium. Okay. 
No, Copium was a Copium was, Copium was, was, great was crazy. So his shit, he ain't some shit. Blue jeans, t-shirts in the night. Yeah. That was it. Copium is like the chronic for the Bay for me. Bay, yeah. In a major way, Copium, tear gas is like my three. And then Mac Dre, when he did the double album, Genie of the Lamp, and then Ronald Dragon. Genie of the Lamp, Ronald Dragon. And then the one when he passed, the Mac. See, I didn't even fuck with Al Boo Boo like that. The, 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 I, it, I fucked with it, but I'm just saying, I don't have that in my holy grills. But I, I put Messy Marv Disobeyish in there. It, it can go in there at round 20. <laughs> For me. For me. You know what I'm saying? Secret Menu Podcast, though. Just like that, we back. We'll be back on Friday night. We only two days away from the motherfucking sneaky link. YouTube only, man. Y'all pull up and fuck with us. Camille says she drinking tonight. I hope you save some for Friday or get another bottle. Because Friday night is going up. And this is my last Friday where I got to rush. <laughs> This is my last Friday where I got to rush. My Saturday mornings have become free. You know what I'm saying? But so the sneaky link finna get even crazier now. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't got to rush and be nowhere Saturday morning no more. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We doing our motherfucking shit. We definitely appreciate y'all tapping in. It is Wednesday. Hump day. Money boss, give us some game to get us over the hump. It's easier to slide down the mountain than it is to climb the mountain. But once you climb the mountain, you left your footmark in that mountain of how to get back up to the top of it. Mm. Always remember, just because you fall down a little bit don't mean you can't get back on your feet to climb back up and get there again. But also remember, other people climbing that same mountain and going to use your same foot trail. But sometimes your foot trails get marked and and, 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 and they'll fall or fade away because too many people are taking the same steps. Mm. Just remember, you've been up to that top of the mountain before, so the steps that faded away is the only way for you to make new steps. So keep stepping and you'll get there. Mm, that was a bar. That was a bar. That was a bar. Secret Menu Podcast, we appreciate y'all tapping in on a regular basis, man. Ain't nothing but love, ain't nothing but love, ain't nothing but love. Trap House out now on Tubi. Make sure y'all go spin that motherfucker. 99 North is now out on Tubi as well. Go make sure y'all fuck with that. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Get your Let's Do It t-shirts. All you gotta do is inbox Money Boss. Inbox money, boss, and get your Let's Do It t-shirts, man. We definitely appreciate y'all tapping in. You know what I'm saying? We'll be back Friday night for the motherfucking Sneaky Link Patron. Uh, We got a special guest, uh, Tequila Boss. We'll be here. (laughs) If you ain't met that nigga yet. If y'all ain't met him yet, uh, we're in for a good one. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, ain't nothing but love. We love you motherfuckers. Keep fucking with us. Uh, stay down till you come up. When you come up, stay down. Diego stay down. Red is saying peace. Money boss is saying peace. And we out. The Secret Menu Podcast. With your hosts, Diego Red and Money Boss. Brought to you by Rebel TV, the Rebel Entity. Live from the West Side and Worldwide. Worldwide. Real ones know what's up. And if you don't, you get the point. Tap in. Tap in. It's the Secret Menu Podcast.